Like the PowerPoint said, scroll bars are very important. You have to remember that computers are not laid out like books. Computers don't go left and right. Computers are like ancient Egyptian scrolls. If you are writing a 100 page paper, your document's going to be displayed completely vertically. You're going to have your computer screen and you're going to have your page displayed and all the rest of the pages will be either below or above the page you're currently viewing. And you can use a scroll bar to move up and down all the information on your computer. So in order to understand this and visualize the scroll bar, we need to use a scroll bar. Open up Solitaire and we're going to go to the Help menu and the Help menu will contain our first scroll bar that we're going to work with. Once Solitaire is open, move your mouse arrow over to the Help menu. The Help menu will highlight in blue. Click one time and the Help menu will open up. Slide down the option Contents. Contents will highlight in blue. Click one time on Contents and a Solitaire help screen will appear. Now we're looking for a scroll bar. So what I want you to do is click one time on the Solitaire option. A list of new options will appear. Come down to Play Solitaire. Click one time on Play Solitaire and you'll see on the right hand side of the screen Directions on how to play Solitaire will appear. Now notice on the right hand side of the screen that not all the information fits. There's some information that's cut off at the bottom. In order to see the rest of the information, we need to use our scroll bar, which is located on the right hand side of this screen. The scroll bar consists of an up arrow, a down arrow, and a bar. In this case, the bar is a light blue bar. The up arrow, if we click the up arrow, that will move us up the document. If we click the down arrow, clicking the down arrow will show us what's below the document. So let's try that. Let's click the up arrow and we'll see what is above the document. And let's click the down arrow and we'll see what is below the document. Now you notice each time I click the arrow, we move either up or down one line. If I want to move more quickly, I can hold my left mouse button down on top of an arrow and we will zip either up or down depending on which arrow I am holding my mouse button on. Now notice as I click on these up and down arrows in the scroll bar that light blue bar moves up and down the scroll bar. This light blue bar shows us our position in the document. Right now we are located at the top of the document. If I click the down arrow, the bar moves and now we are located in the middle of the document. When the dark or when the light blue bar reaches the bottom of the scroll bar, we know we are at the bottom of the document. So we see that the up and down arrows control where we are moving in our document if we are going to see what's above or below our document and the bar in between the up and down arrows shows us our position in that document if we're at the beginning, end, or middle. One very important aspect to keep in mind when using scroll bars is when you're clicking the down arrow the words will appear to move up the screen the opposite of what you're doing. If you click the up arrow the words will appear to move down the document. A lot of beginning computer users wonder why, does, why is the computer doing the opposite of what I'm trying to do. In order to understand this, think of the up and down arrows as controlling your viewing screen. Let's say we have a document that's 100 pages long and we have a viewing screen that will move up and down that document. If we click the up arrow, the viewing screen will move up the document causing the words to look like they're moving down. If we click the down arrow, the viewing screen will move down the document, causing the words to look like they're moving up the document. So the scroll bar doesn't control the document itself. The scroll bar controls the movement of a viewing screen up and down that document. That'll be very helpful in understanding how the scroll bar works. 
The computer screen is similar to the scrolls used by the ancient Egyptians. It is laid out in the same vertical fashion as the scrolls. To see all the available information on the page, use the vertical scroll bar on the right side of the window screen. Click on the up and down arrows at the top and bottom of the scroll bar to move through the information on your screen. The dark gray bar located within the scroll bar tells you where you are in relation to the total information available for viewing on the computer screen. If the dark gray bar is at the top of the scroll bar, you are at the beginning of the information. If the dark gray bar is at the bottom of the scroll bar, you are at the end of the information.